days so I am back which it basically when I say I'm back I feel like I've been out for like 24,000 years but when I don't do videos now it feels like I am just gone forever so to make up some of the days because it was snowing and I have a picture of my snowman if you want to see it I'll put it at the end of the video hopefully but anyway so this is the throwback tag so if this is um because I notice on YouTube you can change back the time which feels so futuristic but I want I want this to be uploaded on Thursday but if this is uploaded and it says Friday so if it says February 27, 2015, it's okay. But I really wanted to say February 26, 2015. But anyway, I have um the computer here with the questions. So let's get started. I'm so excited. So some of these questions I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer, but I'll just try my best. And if you hear background noises, it's because I'm filming this at night and even though people should be yearning to go and settle down, my brother's out there and he's just A brother tag. Come and have a look if you want one. A brother tag or something like that. I really do want you to have one. Anyway, so the first question is What year was you born in? And I was born in 2003. So, number two is Do you have any pictures of yourself when you were younger? If you do, show them. And I, before this video, I looked at the questions and I was like, oh, wait, we have like a whole entire, we have two, probably even more, but two photo albums of like all of our pictures. So I'm going to try to go and find all of mine and I'll show you. So these are basically all of them, but I'm only going to show you a sneak peek of them. So that was me holding a baby doll, maybe a plastic, whatever that was called. And yeah, I was trying to wait for everything. And this was actually pretty adorable because that's my dad and uh, he like had braids so because for some reason he grew a lot of hair quickly so then as you can see my hair is very long so when i was a baby i had a lot of hair so it was like real high loud hair there was this most of these i don't know like how old i was but most of them are when i was like baby size that's my sister and that's me no, i think i was sucking a lollipop or something i'm trying to act like i'm about to laugh basically me acting like um yeah <laughs> and then I was being sassy with that. I was like, you're not going to tell me what to do. Most of these are duplicated anyway. They didn't mean like, okay. Okay, let's just talk about that. Okay, you're not going to really see it. I don't know where it is. But that used to be my thing. It wasn't a real computer, but I thought it was, and I thought I was really, like, cool. So I would take that everywhere I went. Actually, like, it was working like a real computer, but it wasn't, you know, it's, yeah, right. Then I had some, I ate a cookie or something. It made me halfway look like I'm asleep or something. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cute. I cannot take it. Me acting like I was asleep. This is like one of my favorite ones. Me smiling like, um, like a big. Then this is my, me and my sister. And this is when I got older and everything. And we were just outside at the time. Then uh, most of these, okay, this is just going to be in, in like wrong order. But me and my sister, we were, we were looking for um flowers for my mom. And as you can see, I was like, yeah, sister, we are working. We are a fleek. We are all friends. Then uh, it was my mom, dad, and uh, me. Mom, dad, and me. Another picture, if you didn't see that. My mom and me on a flake on point. My sister and me looking like, what? what's that? What do you have in your hand? Are you taking a picture of me? Yeah. I actually kind of remember this when my mom took it. Like, I don't remember when my mom took it, but I remember me being there, snuggled up. Like, I remember that. <laughs> then, uh, my dad trying to, like, get me to be in the way when, of course, I was really small, so. Me paying attention, really happy, as you can see. And then, oh, this is three, okay, four, four pictures. Anyway, so I'm gonna hurry up, me and my sister, have fun. Um, I think my sister was going to school, I was almost at school. Me trying to walk. At Christmas time, my sister, she had an attitude, and I was just like, okay, everybody just... This is another one of my favorites, because I had barely no teeth. And that's my brother in the back. Me dancing very coolly, and me like, yes. And then another picture of me when I was acting really sassy, but this, I wasn't really acting sassy with me. Yeah. Then I had no idea what I was holding. I think it was like a sandwich, and it got smushed up somehow, and we were on the computer. Me, my sister, and brother. This was super cute, because we were like holding it like like it's a famous Photoshop. And then the last picture, not really the last picture, but I think I already showed this, I don't know, was my dad, brother, and me. So yeah. Those were all the pictures. Okay, we were just on 
the second question. This video is going to be long. Um, so anyways, number three question. What TV shows did you watch growing up? Oh, I read that so wrong. What TV shows did you grow up watching? Basically, Dora, Dixbora, um, what was her, like, cousin or something? Oh, my gosh. I forgot the name. But him, um, Spongebob was, like, we used, we were, like, in common. He, right now, I know the fact that he was born in 1999, and he is 16 or 15 years old. Fact. But anyway, yeah. There's more shows, but I, I can't remember them now. Question number four. What did you want to be when you grow up and, still, and do you still want to be that? I want to be a vet, but I still do want to be a vet. I'm just scared of snakes and spiders and all. If they bring their pet in there and I'm sitting there, I mean, their snake pet, and I'm like. Anyway, yeah. Number five. I mean, question number five. Show a video of yourself when you were younger. I'm going to try to um, insert a clip now. Can't never sit down nowhere. He always got to run around and. Ever, honey. But you know what? I want to get that five for five at five. You? Yeah, enjoy it. Anyway, question number six. What were your favorite toys to play with? Basically, that big computer was like my all time favorite to um, use. I mean, yeah. Um. I'm trying to think of some more. I used to play with the tea set, teacup set, and all that. I can't really think of them now, but I know there was like more. I just can't think. Those pet shop. Oh my gosh, I have a collection of them. I'm gonna try to go get them because those are just my baby. Literally, I have a case to put them in because I thought I was just so cool enough to have a case, and I was like the only person in my classroom with a Lewis pet shops, basically. So basically. This is it. I mean, I haven't got some more in 2014 from um, this girl that lives in my neighborhood. Ugh, okay. And if I can see it, come on, let me see it. I still kind of play with them. I mean, not really anymore. But, like, when I see them, I'm like, oh, I can't really find this stuff in here. Like this. Oh my gosh, I had um, a Lewis pet shop, and we were bike riding. This happened like a couple, wait. If that, you know what, I'm just going to wait to tell you, at probably, it. if there is a question on here, that will answer what I'm about to say. But, yeah. Basically, just, there's plenty more. I mean, this was my contact collection. I was like really obsessed with them, and I thought, as I thought, I was cool, so... But simply, I'm not that really cool. <laughs> so, what question are we on? Okay, number seven. Okay, what's the most embarrassing thing that you can remember doing? Well, I know I've done something embarrassing, but I don't really keep up with all the embarrassing stories. I'm just gonna t just gonna say one that happened like w like two weeks, three weeks ago. Okay, so. Okay, so what happened was basically I was sitting um, and I wanted to get some Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola or Pepsi, something like that. So I asked my mom, and so this may sound disgusting, but it's not really disgusting at the same time because it was me and my mom with this. So anyway, so um, I had a cup and I was pouring the Pepsi in, and then it looked as, there was only like I had poured up a lot, and I didn't know. So then I turned myself like this way, and I poured it back in, like just a little bit. And so my mom, she caught me. She was like, Ashley, are you pouring it back in? And I was like, yes. And then, now I can't really, I can't, she, I have to get an offer to have Pepsi or Coke. So, basically, yeah. Read something you wrote in, you, in kindergarten. Um, I think I have something. If I don't, I'll be right back. If I do, I'll be right back with something. I'm really thinking about it. So I noticed that I didn't have it. It was a quiz, and basically I was just writing words. That's the only thing I can really think of when you say when I wrote something. Okay, number nine. Three songs you loved to listen as a child. Okay, so 
since I have this channel, I had playlists, play playlists, and they just had songs. I'm just searching for them. I like to listen to, hold, hold up. I like to listen to, um, watch me from Disney Channel, Shake It Up. Um, yeah. Let's start for this. Okay, then. I like to listen to Amber, which she isn't very, like, a famous, um, YouTube artist, but she, I just like to her songs. Like, All About Him, um, La La La, Deep, Perfect 2, Let's just skip. This is actually the first song that I, like, knew about the Amber Girl. Yeah, I used to jam to this song for some reason, because it was just that. Then there's Deep, which is, I think... I'm just gonna, those are probably all of them I just wanna talk about. But there's more, but like those are all. So, number 10. What was one funny thing you dressed up as a Halloween when you were younger? Um, oh, if I have a picture of this, I'll like put it in. But it was, um, oh my gosh, what is her name? I, I like, I dressed up with, I dressed up this girl for like every Halloween for like three years straight. Because <laughs> it was just like, that was my favorite outfit. Yes. I'll put, the name right here if I remember it but I don't remember right now for some reason number 11 tell a funny story or of something you remember happening when you were young okay so when I was um I forgot what age I was but anyway okay so me and my mom and I don't think it was my well it probably was my brother so we were going to go and we were going to ride our bikes down like the street kind of right there and as I said I was really obsessed with a little sweatshop so I thought maybe I should bring one so I brought one and basically when after we got finished riding our bikes down the street and everything I came back I searched my pocket it wasn't there I got so sad because I was like there's a there was a drain right there going up or like up the subdivision kind of so I knew it had to have dropped down there. So I got so sad and I was just like, maybe it can just pop up and, you know, be right there. But it never did. And I, I that was like my favorite Blue's Pet Shop that I can remember. That's why I brought it. But as you can see, I shouldn't have brought it anything. I was just, I just really wanted to bring it. So I mean, yeah, it wasn't really funny, but it was a story that I wanted to tell you. Okay, what was something weird you used to do as a child? I'm trying to, oh, I remember that I, um, I used to always be scared of, like, as you can see in this picture, I was kind of uncomfortable, but by the time I took this picture, I was kind of over it, but I was super scared to, um, like, when you go to malls and you, um, take pictures with, like, Santa Claus or, like, the Easter Bunny, the Easter Bunny, I did not really like, because he used to be super scary, so every time we went there, I would always just not want to take a picture, but I, I kind of got over it and just did, so. Yeah. Uh, number 14. What's the scary thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? Um, I, like, everybody knows this, basically. But basically, when I was younger, um, okay, I was riding a bike. <laughs> and, like, every time I ro rode my bike, I wanted to wave to my mom because I just loved waving to my mom. So then, basically, I wasn't looking. And this was at my first home. And so there was a pole, right, like, okay, so I was riding, haha, waving to my mom back there, and there was a pole right, right here. As you can tell, you know what's about to happen. I smashed into it, and then I fell down on the ground. All I can remember is walking into the house, and that's when I phased out. 
basically that's all. But as you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Last question, number 15, how is the world now different from how it was when you were a child? I mean, it's totally changed because now we're using slang words, they, um, <laughs> um, on fleek. We're using, like, urban dictionary words that you look up there and you see them. So, I mean, it's pretty different. But, I mean... It's changed a lot, I mean, as you can see, if you are born in 2003, and now looking at it, it's like, well, where did all this come from? So, basically, yeah, it's changed a lot, but let's just, let's just give a congratulations that I'm still here exploring the world. So, basically, that's all I gotta say. Subscribe, comment down below, some ideas you want me to do, um, I will do them, and just have a great day with your life, and...